Hey guys, what's up? It's Our of MapMake here, and today we're going to be teaching you how to make an open URL URL link in your application. You can just start up Xcode, name it whatever you want. I decided to put open URL. Uh, you're just going to make this a uh, single view application, and once you get in here, uh, you're just going to be able to go over to your viewcontroller.h. You're going to go right under the at interface, and you're going to type in dash parentheses ib action and parentheses push button capital button um, or you can name it whatever kind of button you want uh, then what you're gonna do is just a semicolon now you can cut and paste this into your dot m view controller dot m and underneath the implementation implementation just uh, paste that get rid of the semicolon put in curly brackets uh, and now we're actually just gonna link up the button itself to the uh, to the script so we're going to go into our view controller dot zip now we're just going to take any button you can pretty much take any kind of button from in here uh, you can put whatever you want now the way this would normally be used is if you have your website and you want people to go there you just name a button my website put it like at the bottom of the uh, the page now what you're going to do is you're going to command click on file owner um, and you're just going to drag this over to your button and you're going to choose touch up inside uh, and that should work right there now what you're going to do is go back to the view controller dot m go into those curly brackets we made earlier and here's a longer code uh, that we're going to put in for the actual action so bracket bracket ui application space shared application end bracket space open url capital url um, colon bracket ns url space url with string colon at and then you're going to type in um in quotes your url so http whatever you want i decided to put my other youtube channel which is youtube.com slash app find uh you should definitely check that out for like apple news app reviews and stuff but you can put whatever you want in there you're going to end the uh, the quotes, then you're going to end with two double left brackets, um, and then you're going to do a semicolon. And that should be the end of your script. You're just going to do Command B to build, and uh, make sure that the build was complete without any errors. If there's errors, you might want to watch the video again, um, and pretty much follow this. Now, the placement of the items actually matters. Now, you can just run this in iPhone 5.1 simulator. You can also do the same thing with the iPad. Um, so once you run this in the simulator itself, it should pop up in just a second here. All right, here it is. So what, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to test this out, make sure it worked properly. Uh, all right, so once we open this up, let's see. Yep, you're going to go over down to where it says my website. Once you click that, it's going to open up Safari. And it's going to bring up whatever URL you originally typed in. Now you can have multiples of these buttons. You just have to change it from push button to different button names. Uh, it definitely works really well. And I highly recommend you know just trying this out. Also, don't forget to check out AppFind. Uh, it's a pretty sweet channel that I have, my main channel, uh, where I do Apple news and stuff and app reviews, all that cool stuff. Uh, but don't forget to subscribe to here, AppMake, for more tutorials. And subscribe to AppFind for Apple news and reviews and all that cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.